Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro. Today, Apple has released iOS 16 Beta 2 to all developers today. It came out 1.67 gigabytes on my iPhone 11 Pro Max. On my 12 Pro Max, I installed it. Build number is 20A5303i. So there's the build number right there, in case you guys cannot see that. And there are a bunch of new little, little and big changes I want to share with you guys today. So let's get started. The first change is in family. So previously in iOS 16 beta 1, you can see that the purchasing, the icon for purchase sharing was like grayish teal color, but now it's changed to blue. In wallpaper, you guys can see on iOS 16 beta 1, it looked like this. Now on iOS 16 beta 2, it now looks like this. It was two new buttons for customize for lock and home screen. And up here, it'll now tell you if this is the current wallpaper. He's given a new plus button for the add new wallpaper. That's really nice and helpful. So you can tap customize. So previously in iOS 16 beta 1, if you tapped it, it'll just bring up the widgets page or the auction customization page. Now it'll ask you if you want to customize the current or add new wallpaper. So that's really cool. You can no longer tap on here to do that like you could in the older OS. So that's really nice and handy. In control center, you can see in iOS 16 beta 1, the icon of the light bulb and plug outlets are tiny, but on iOS 16 beta 2, they're now bigger. You guys see 16 beta 1 on the left, 16 beta 2 on the right. You see on beta 2, Apple's made the light bulb and plug outlet icons much larger and more detailed. So larger icons for control center. On the lock screen, you guys can see that the weather wallpaper is now working. So previously in iOS 16 beta 1, the weather wallpaper would always show the sun, no matter which location you're in. But now, you guys can see, it now shows my current weather conditions in the, in the actual animation for outside, which is cloudy. So, so iOS 16 beta 2 fixes the weather wallpaper animation, so now it shows the actual weather now, like Craig Frederiki demoed in the keynote. So, amazing change. In the TV application, you can now manage your app ID right from the TV application now. You don't have to go to the app store or iTunes to do this. Previously in iOS 16 beta 1 and earlier, you see you couldn't do that. Also, you can now clear your play history right from the TV app. So I'm going to do that, clear, and there we go. My play history is now clear. So I can now manage Apple ID and clear my play history from the Watch Now section all from the TV app. In the Apple Watch app, you guys can see the preview for the new watch face on WatchOS 9 has now changed. Previously, the Meadow, this face was blue, now it's brown. The lunar face now shows a half moon instead of a full moon. The playtime face has new colors around it for the preview. The astronomy face now shows cloud view. The guy in this photo has now changed, which that, I'm not sure, but this repeats, I think, for every different preview you do. I'm not sure. But the modular face is now orange instead of reddish pinkish. So, Nice little changes there for the Apple Watch app. The astronomy lock screen has now been made more accurate because the Earth now syncs up with the proper weather and everything now. So previously on beta one, it would freeze and get stuck to a point where I had to reset the face where I switch to the moon, then switch back to the Earth for it to reset. Now in beta two, Apple's now fixed it. You guys see they also made the clouds from the Milky Way more noticeable. Previously, you couldn't see that on beta one. Now you can on beta two. Also, the moon has a new preview when new little preview screen now. So previously on beta one, it always showed the bumpy side of the moon. But now Apple's changes show the, the moon side that's facing us right now, which is this side. So more accurate moon details. So that looks just like the Apple Watch version where it has like these crater marks and all that. Really cool. So a nice little change there. Same for the close up. The close up moon detail. And the solar system. So the solar system has not changed, but the moon and the earth are now more accurate than they used to be. So in settings, go to home screen. You'll notice on beta 2, the show spotlight has now been renamed to show on home screen. So basically it's the same option, but renamed. In accessibility, scroll down to live captions, go to appearance, go to text size. You'll notice that the text that says live captions will adjust your preferred reading size below now says live captions with a beta there. So instead of just saying live captions will adjust to your preferred reading side below, it now says live captions beta, basically telling people there's a beta, not an actual 
like ready to go feature. So testing feature right now. So nice little beta indicator right there. So that's basically all the changes I found for iOS 16 beta 2. So I might not have found everything, but I found a lot. So that's basically it for this video. If you liked the video, give the video a thumbs up. It's my video. Peace out.